name is Katarzyna Starowicz and I am research associate at the Institute of Pharmacology Polish Academy of Sciences. I'm very happy to contribute to this uh, medical student um, initiative on the education um, and translating science between us basic scientists and medical doctors. I think this is really fundamental to, uh, to find the right way of, of communicating what we are doing in basic research, in animal research, in pain studies, in my case, in uh, area of my interest and research. And what you doctors find it difficult um, with, with the, when you meet your patients. So, how to find the right treatment, how to find the right options for pharmacotherapy, what, what to use. And um, what we are doing in our study, we have a, a long standing collaboration, it's more than 15 years that we are collaborating with the pain and anesthesia clinics here in Krakow. And every year or every second year, um, a medical doctor comes to us and he or she is performing and um, performing his PhD studies in, in animal research. I think this is really important for you, for medical doctors, to understand, the, to see how the, what, are, what are the pain mechanisms, what, the, what is it behind, how we assess pain in animals. To your patient, you can simply ask. How much does it hurt you? You show your the, the VAS scale and you, you, you simply ask a question. Please tell me, is it is your pain? How do you rate and how do you score your pain? With animals we cannot do this. So I think we should uh, we should be able to communicate in both ways. And once going for scientific meetings, we should be equally interested in what we are presenting from the laboratory, from the animal house, from the molecular biology bench and from what you are telling us that this is a successful way of treating patients in, in chronic pain or in any other kind of, of uh, neurological disorders or diseases. So uh, I'm really happy that I can contribute to this initiative and I think, okay, keep going and keep the good work going. There are different possibilities for, for us. For, to, to be a woman in science is not, uh, it's not very easy because, um, well, we come back from work and there is still um, I have a five year old son who is waiting for me. I go to the kindergarten to pick him up. And from five to nine, nine, I'm always a mother. Then, when there is still a work to be done, it's always after nine p.m. So, it's not easy to combine all our duties and all our uh, calls and, and, and what we want to do. In, uh, in, the, in the afternoon because they, we have only 24 hours to share. So that's why initiatives like L'Oreal UNESCO Prizes for Women in Sciences, I really appreciate it a lot. I'm a recipient of one of, of these because they, um, they motivate us. I think they motivate us women to, um, to keep up the good work. I think that this is what, what we are doing. And they also uh, gave us the possibility to have, um, not to worry about our um, our life and about uh, let's say also who will pay the bills and who will put the gas in my car so um, this gives you uh, some extra funding some extra funding for your personal reasons and personal things. so yeah this is it's, it's great and it's always worth of applying if you will not send your applications no one will knock to your door and say okay here is the money you have to apply and be brave you don't think Maybe I'm not too good enough because the competition is, is uh, extremely high. The competition in Poland in the last edition of L'Oreal for the Women of Human Sciences was 12 to 1. And I got it. So if I got it, you can also get it. So just don't, don't be shy and think of, of um, the, the, the good things and the good work that you are doing. Try to present it in, in this way that this is really exceptional and uh, yeah. it's worth it. It's like, hi. My name is Robin Franklin, I'm a professor of neuroscience at the University of Cambridge and this is a video for International Medical Education Day. Um, so, I've been asked to give an opinion on uh, medical education and some of the things I think are important in that. What I will say is that everything you learn as a medical student is only as good as the experiment from which it came. Uh, and there is a tendency to think that things that you read in textbooks must be true. But that isn't always the case. And what you, what you always do is remember this has come from primary research. For that reason, I think it is absolutely crucial that all medical students, at some stage in their training, are exposed to fundamental research to see how it is that we generate the information that then becomes the work of the textbooks. 
So I would strongly encourage all medical students at some stage in their training and perhaps even during their careers to get involved in projects and research laboratories, do some experiments, test some hypotheses and learn how it is we generate material which become the, 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 the medicines of the future.